and which is great. And so, um, so then, you know, we'll see how, how we can proceed from here. So um, you need to read, read some, uh, you know, literature and um, um, so we can go from there, right? You can build, so you can basically first know what people have done along this one, what is the current theory and uh, what's the current, uh, you know, knowledge uh, in, this in this direction, in this topic, right? Okay, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. cool. Um, so I don't see, I see Frank, Frank cannot talk, but uh, I see, um, oh, Kevin is, job. So, um, let's see whether we have more people to, you know, get on. Otherwise, I don't know um, what, what, you know, any idea you want, you guys want to uh, talk about or you want me to teach about. And uh, so I can, I can do either way. Um, we can pick a topic to d discuss our, you know, we can, we can go back to our astronomy conversation or go back to some of the physics conversation whatever you guys like any preference oh kevin's still trying to get on i think the internet the connection is still no good for him Interesting. Jenny, any any preference? No, not really. Oh, uh, um, if I allow you to make decision, you want you want me to talk about what? Um, you want to learn something else? What what else? What what do you want to learn? Learn something completely new, or learn something? We can continue something we had talked about before. Mm -hmm. Um. I don't really know. Don't really know? Okay. Kevin, you have any preference? We, you know, we talk about the, so maybe I, I let me, let me switch to uh, this camera. So I'll, I'll, I, I give you um, some choice you can take. Um, so you can see what we want to talk about. How about that? Okay. So, one thing we can talk about if you are you guys want to learn a little bit about this called capillary action or surface tension which is very very popular very uh or very um you know um, um one of the important uh, you know um uh, physics phenomena in our daily life uh for example like for example, like beading, we call beading is, you know, when you wash your, wash your uh, plate after dinner and, uh, you know, there's always water droplet formed on the, you know, plate surface, something like this. So how to explain this effect, a phenomenon in, um, in, in, in physics, in science. This, uh, this, uh, the reason they form this kind of shape, uh, we call the contact angle, is um, also sometimes we call it called wet ability. Uh, there are some, you know, for example, water. So how do you tell your your dish is clean? So basically, if um, your dish is um, is a beading is forming a forming a, you know still drop comp like you know very oily. Uh, you know, like your finish your dish, you 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 have lots of. Uh, the so oil on the surface of the dish, then the water will not easily to, um, uh, we call it hydrophobic. The, the water cannot uh, easily attach to the um, plate surface because there is a thin layer of oil. And in our case, um, this angle will be um, more, more like you have, more like this, this, this case, right? So have, you have water droplet couldn't attach, easily attach to the uh, plate surface. So which indicate the plate is not clean. So once the plate is clean, so we, if you drop, you, you put a drop of water on the, your glass, uh, your, your, your glass cup or plate, so it's more like 
the water will attach really well to the surface. So that indicates the plate, the, the, the plate is clean, or the glass surface is clean. So this is called uh, you know, surface wettability of, uh, this is uh, essentially called surface tension kind of physics, physics phenomenon. So I don't know if you're interested, we can talk about that. And this one relate to also relate to uh, our plant because um, relate to uh, we call the capillary action, and uh, uh, that's 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 one of the reason why we can. Have you ever thought about why we can we can grow tree so so tall, and even though our you know tree only get water from the root, and why they can grow. Do you know, um, everybody know the tallest tree? Do you know what is tallest tree ever on girls can grow up to? No, I have no idea. No idea? Um, mm -hmm. I ask you uh, another physics phenomenon. If, if you have a vacuum tube, you, you know, you have a, you have, when you have a tube, if you have a vacuum tube, right? And uh, then you, you, you insert into the water surface, then the, of course the water will go in, suck into the tube. Do you know how tall how tall the, the water can go if if uh, if the the top of the tube is sealed and the complete vacuum? Do you have any idea? So that that's basically related to one we call it one atmosphere on the Earth's surface. We have one atmosphere of pressure. So and because inside is vacuum, so the, they are they are push the water in. There's a you know force difference, push water in, so water can go pretty high. And under the one atmosphere pressure. So actually the, the, the water can go up to 10 meter high. You know, it's, it's basically one atmosphere pressure. So but but our tree. Our tree, the tallest tree on Earth, actually is 115 meter. That's the tallest ever, you know, the tree we can find on Earth is 100 some meter. 100 actually is uh, in California. Uh, is um, um, uh, what type of tree that's called? It's called. Uh, let me see. What's called the type of tree uh, in California can can grow up to. Oh, sequoia here. Sequoia, sequoia in California, this, the highest tree on earth can grow up to 115 meter tall. Um, but, 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 but even the inside is vacuum, a tube, the water can only go up to 10 meter. So how is the tree able to get water from the, if the tree cannot get water from the root, then it's going to die, right? So, so how able to go up to 115 meter tall? So why? There is some, there's, this is called capillary action um, related to this uh, all surface tension. It's, a, uh, it's quite interesting physics phenomena and can be easily explained by, it's not very complicated math. And it's, you, you can calculate, so what kind of, how, you know what is capillary, right? Mao Xi Xue Guan, Mao Xi Mao Xi Guan Xiaoying. When the when you have a tube really really narrow in diameter, and so uh, the water, so in this case, for example, tube even the top is open, so therefore the, there's air in the top, same pressure as the air here on the on the on the water surface, so the the water still can go up to a certain distance because of the capillary action we call. When this tube become even narrow, even the top, both top are open, see? So this, this narrow one, the, the narrow tube, smaller tube with the diameter can have higher, water can go more. So therefore we can, uh, we can use some physics to calculate how high this water can go at what kind of diameter. Um, you know, try to explain why the tree able to get grow, grow so tall, still can draw water from the bottom, from the root. Okay, this is called capillary action. So this is one thing if you like to talk, you, you want to know, I can, I can talk about. And um, 
Um, so we can talk about other things. For example, we can talk about the, the vibration, like a spring. If you have a spring load, uh, load a block, and uh, assuming this surface is uh, frictionless, so you push the spring and then release, then this block will vibrate, uh, like, uh, uh, you know, coming, go and uh, coming back and vibrate. So this vibrate has a frequency, uh, frequency which really means within one mid one second, how many times vibrate. You call frequency, or you can calculate it's called period. So finish one circle, one round. You know, go and coming back to the same position. How long it take? So this is a, a very famous uh, physics phenomenon. So we can do a quick use of the calculus. Calculus we uh, physics we learn, and we can do a quick calculation. Calculate that and the formula, or. Or we can we can look at this kind of uh, done by uh, a pendular case. We can also derive this um, this uh, period of the frequency, um, you know, formula. So this is an area, and you know, if you want to learn, we can talk about uh, quickly as well. And um, the other things we can talk about today, if you like, and uh, I have mentioned this called the Newton bucket, water bucket, and um, when at a spin and forms this kind of uh, parabolic uh, surface. So we can derive this one based on the uh, physics we already learned, which uh, out of, and, and the calculus we already know, we, we, we have enough knowledge to, uh, to, 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 to get there, to, to show this is, to prove this is a parabolic shape. Okay, so that's something we can do. And, um, we can also we can also talk about talk about for example this is a very famous called uh, catenary cable hanging problem. It's basically you find this one on the street everywhere. From the, on the street, there's two pillar, and then people hanging uh, you know uh, you know metal chain, right? Uh, for the traffic control metal chain uh, along the you know between the you know walking walking um, path and the street and you know why so the shape is more like this kind of shape and uh, we can use the knowledge we learned as a the calculus and the physics knowledge we learn we can calculate exactly what this shape looks like mathematically okay this is also we call the hanging rope is like if you you have any idea like you know um, you may not be you but when i grow up you know our parents always hanging a rope between the two wall or between the two tree, and then then you know uh, then try to dry our clothes, and uh, so the you know if you hanging a rope with a, a rope is is a, with a mass right with it's not uh, with weight, and so uh, that's where also same shape. So this shape is a uh, uh, well defined by you know, we can derive this shape mathematically or physically, uh, and it's it's a special function. And we can derive that. So that's something we can talk about. And um, so we can also talk about, for example, I mentioned about uh, optics the other day, talking about the we call the refraction law, called the sneer law. So coming light coming from air or from one uh, other material and the interface with uh, another water, for example, the light going to bend. That's why we, we found out when you put a stick into the water bowl, you are finding that the stick actually is bending, right? It's called the refraction. Uh, we can derive this refraction law based on a very simple principle called the uh, principle of least time or least action, uh, which is called a, a Fermi principle. We can we can use a simple calculus to derive this one. And this is one of the very famous optics effect, uh, optical uh, you know formula. Uh, if you study a little bit about optics, right? Um, we could also we could also um, try to learn a little bit of uh, quantum mechanics. Uh, in this case, is a hydrogen hydrogen um, um, atom with a hydrogen nuclear here in the center and electron orbiting around hydrogen nuclear, and we can derive the famous famous um, the um, the um, 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 actually, not very, very complicated physics to derive the famous 
the, uh, the spectrum line. So uh, hydrogen, hydrogen emit uh, spectrum, uh, absorption spectrum is a sharp, sharp discrete line. Um, it's not continuous. So why is that? And, uh, and we can derive this, uh, this uh, energy level formula. Um, you know, it's, uh, it's, it's, a, uh, it's, a, it's a quant quantitized. Uh, it's called, uh, it's basic quantum mechanics, a little bit quantum mechanics. Uh, but the, uh, this is a simple treatment of treat, sim simple, uh, you know, approximation of quantum mechanics. If you want to learn, I can talk about that. And uh, actually it's fun to learn that way, to learn a little bit of quantum mechanics. Um, so there are many other things we can talk about the bloody, blood body radiation. So why the sun, why the sun is a kind of way um, with this kind of color and the temperature. Um, if we um, treat as uh, we call it black body, it's called black, black body radiation. This black body radiation physics is quite important because that is um, um, that is um, Max Planck uh, first to try to solve this problem in a more re uh, try to explain certain uh, certain uh, conflicts and uh, uh, contradictory thing, um, eventually uh, leading to the uh, discovery of quantum me mechanics. And um, the other things we can talk about, talk about a little bit like, uh, um, you know, we, before we have talking about distance, size, and uh, uh, luminosity, uh, the brightness of star, we can talk about, we can further talk about what we call the angular resolution, really means um, um, if you use a telescope, how far away to star, how far away the star with uh, two stars uh, next to each other from us, we cannot uh, use any optical method to separate, to see them separately. To see them, um, to see if eventually we don't have the resolution to be able to uh, separate, to optically see them to uh, two separate object, but rather they are blown, you know, they are uh, blob into one thing. It's called the optical resolution issue. It's a pretty simple uh, physics phenomenon, uh, a very famous one, and uh, it's called optical resolution, uh, angular resolution. And uh, so that one, uh, we could, uh, we could, uh, we could, uh, um, you know, do a little bit of physics. So that's uh, that's all the things, um, all the things we can talk about, or we can talk about, and Heisenberg uncertainty principle, which is a very famous one. In, in quantum physics, when the fundamental one, um, you know, uh, what is that? And uh, of course, then uh, talking about uh, um, Broy uh, wavelengths, or the, um, you know, this uh, relates to this uh, called the dual, dual nature of the photon. Remember, we talked about the photon dual nature, both as a particle and as a wave. Okay, so those are the, those are all the things we can talk about. Um, of course, we can talk about uh, stars, how to, how to look at the stars in the sky and talking about the distance, talking about the brightness, talking about how do we know, how do we derive the, for example, the uh, universe uh, lifetime 13.8 billion years um, based on this uh, Hubble constant. And, um, and uh, so basically, so what we learned from observe the, uh, the, the universe uh, from Earth uh, the only thing we can do is using a telescope uh, to to collect different different wavelengths of the electromagnetic wave emitted from those stars, and uh, how we know how we how how we know how big they are, how far they are from us, um, you know, um, you know, um, so on. Those information, um, so that's the whole um, cosmology and. Uh, um, astronomy is based on this kind of observation and the reasoning, scientific reasoning, because that leading us to understand, oh, this galaxy actually is, you know, 10 billion light years away. This one is only several light years away. It's a huge difference. Even they are all hanging, hanging there in the, in the sky. And uh, the distance is huge difference. And uh, because they are distance, huge difference, because then the size we see, if you look them very similar, but the one is further, further, further away, of course, that one going to be really, really large in size. 
because uh, when an object we are moving away from us, further they go, then it becomes smaller, smaller, right? Uh, because of, because we call this called uh, uh, this uh, uh, this uh, um, this uh, angle of the same size diameter d when they moving away from us, uh, the distance from us is uh, increasing. There uh, we see them become smaller because the angle um, is become less less. The angle is d divided by the distance uh, the object from us. So I mean the di diameter of the, the the star divided by the distance star from us is the observable angle. Uh, we see how big this this star is. So the the when the two things look at similar, like moon and the sun, we talk about moon and the sun in the sky roughly have same angular size. We look at them both look like very similar size. However, because sun is much further away, therefore the uh, sun is much much bigger. It's hundred times bigger than the than the than the moon. But it's um, it's um, because a hundred times distance further away from from the moon. Got it. Those we can also talk about. So so all the all kind of things. Um, if you are interested to learn, I can I can teach you. I, I can try to teach you. I mean. Um, but up to you. Is that good? Any idea? Hard to, to choose, huh? Anything you want to learn? Any idea? <laughs> Yeah, Frank was saying philosophy. Frank wants to learn philosophy. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, so early science is all called philosophy, right? So that's why today's all the PhD, our doctor is called the doctor of philosophy. All the nature science um, doctor is all, everybody is called the doctor of philosophy. So it's all under the umbrella of philosophy. Uh, no matter is uh, you are physics PhD, you are physics doctor, or uh, chemistry doctor, biology doctor, uh, uh, everyone is is doctor of philosophy. So, um, any thought? Oh, uh, you want me to random pick one? Oh, you can of course you can go back to study your your uh, the um, the the topic you're going to pick. Oh, you you want to pick, and that is fine too. Any idea? Kevin, Jenny. Um, I'm 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 fine with all of these. Yeah, I don't I don't mind what you talk about. Oh, really? Okay. That become problem because uh, um, sometimes that become problem. So, um, so if you um, if you are um, you you if if you don't really want to learn those, other ways you go. You know, if you go back to study the the pro in the project you're going to pick, or you can think about the project you're going to pick. That's another way. So we can we can just skip this uh, this uh, this lecturing. And how about that? Yeah, sure. That okay. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Then in our case, um, we just we we are end up end up here. Oh, you want to me? You if you want to uh, talk individually with um, with your project uh, choice or uh, with uh, you know you want to uh, you know we go over this project and how to whether and um, continue to define the project better and uh, you know just let me know. Okay. 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 So that's good and. Um, so that's it, and um, you know. So I, I'm here just to help you, and uh, but uh, of course you need to tell me what 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 sometimes uh, you know uh, interest is because it's um, this is a huge area. It's really hard to. Um, um, I don't want to. I just keep teaching and uh, um, without any 
um, you know, uh, if you, you guys know to really uh, fall in love with it, I'll get uh, interested in that. That doesn't make sense, right? Good. Um, so that's, that's good. And um, so let's just stop here today. And anytime you reach out to me, okay, with your project or whatever, okay? Okay, thank you so much, Dr. Wong. Okay, good. Okay, bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Mm. bye. bye.